Hi friends, this is Dr. Arif. Today I'm going to present you the inspection of the tire. If you have any question on that, please give me a call at 647-701-3507. So I'm going to start the inspection of the tire. There are two questions on the tire. One is tire inflation, one is tire damage. So I'm going to do first the tire inflation. Inflation looks good. Make sure you move your hand slowly, not like that. Slowly, slowly, you're gonna feel the air leak. And try to listen at the same time. I don't feel, I don't hear any leak from the outer side wall of the tire. I don't feel, I don't hear any leak on the third side of the tire. Inside, try to reach as far as you can. I don't feel I don't hear any leak from the inner side of the tire. I don't feel I don't hear any leak from the stem wall. After inspecting the tire, you have to read from the schedule. According to schedule one, tire leaking, if leak can be heard or felt, is a minor defect, cannot be felt or heard, is a minor defect. I will inform operator, write inspection report, I can drive. Under the major defects, flat tire, tire leaking, if leak can be felt or heard, are the major defects, I will inform operator, write inspection report, I will not drive. Now I move to the second part, which is the damage. Tire has no cut, no damage, no patch, no exposed cord on the outer side wall of the tire. On the third side, there is no cut, no damage, no patch, no exposed cord. Inner side of the tire has no cut, no damage, no patch, no exposed cord. And the tire tire depth is above the wear limit. If you have a gauge, that's a good, uh, that will be great. And when you use the gauge to check the tire depth, use the gauge at the three different locations and take the reading. Apart from that, tire is not touching to, with any component of the vehicle. Read from the schedule. Damaged or side wall of the tire with a minor defect. I will inform operator, write inspection report, I will drive. Tire tire depth is less than the wear limit, which is 3 mm for the front tire for the steering tire. And for the back tire, it is 1.5 mm. Tire is in contact with another tire or any other vehicle component other than mud flap tire has exposed cord in the third or outer side wall area or the major defect i will inform operator write inspection report and i will not drive if the examiner asks you to check the tires on their drive axle i'm going to show you that you have to perform the inspection the same way i did on the front tire the only things you're going to add to this inspection is you have to get underneath and check there's nothing between the tires and then check the inner tire and say to examiner the inner tire is also not touching any vehicle component and the rest everything you have to do the same way I showed you on the steering axle. Thank you.